What's up guys, welcome back to another NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you how to do the tube feature. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing is, go ahead and create a new file. Come up here, click new. Go ahead and select your units. I'll be choosing millimeters. Name your part. I'll go ahead and name it tube. Choose your file destination. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so before we start with the tube, we have to have a sketch. So we're actually going to go ahead and sketch. And then we want to make sure our uh, auto dimension are off. So we want to come up here in the file, preferences, under sketch. So you want your auto constraints off and then continuous auto dimensioning you want to check that off too go ahead and click OK now we can go ahead and start with the sketch click on sketch alright next you want to select your plane I'll go ahead and leave it at the default plane which is the XY plane go ahead and click OK alright so we're going to go ahead and create our first line Go ahead and put it here. Alright, go ahead and dimension and constrain it. You want to highlight it, make sure it's red, and select it. You want to tell it to be vertical. You want rapid dimension. Alright, so the dimension of this line is going to be 50 millimeters long. Type in 50, press enter. And then you want to tell it where it's at in space in accordance to the XY plane. So you want to highlight it again and then highlight the Y axis. We'll just say 100 millimeters away. And then you want to select this point to your X. Go ahead and do the same thing. We'll choose 100 millimeters away. Next we want to create an arc. In order to do the tube, you gotta have uh, radiuses. You can't have just the straight 90 degree lines to create a tube. It won't work. So we'll go ahead and create a radius. Come up here and arc. We'll go ahead and dimension it. We want it to be uh, 10 millimeters in radius close out highlight your arc make sure it's red then click on it and then highlight your line you want those two to be tangent now you can go ahead and connect your uh, endpoints select your endpoints and make them coincident alright next we'll create a line going across Go ahead and create a line. You want to dimension it. Go ahead and type in 22 millimeters. And then you want to tell it to be a uh, horizontal. Go ahead and click that. And then connect your endpoints. But actually, before you do that, you want to make it a uh, tangent. So I'll select that. Highlight your arc and your line, make them tangent. Then you can go ahead and connect your endpoints. Alright, we're going to go ahead and come down with an arc. Same thing. And instead of uh, dimensioning, you can actually highlight this arc and tell it to be equal radiuses. So highlight this one and this one and tell it to be equal radius that way you're not typing 10 all over again alright next you want this line with this arc to be tangent so select them both and make sure you select tangent then you can go ahead and select your endpoints make them coincident alright next 
go ahead and create a line coming down. You want this line to be vertical. And you want them tangent. Select your endpoints, make them coincident. And then we want this line with this line to be equal length. All right. We'll go ahead and create another arc. And we want it the same equal length, equal radius. Let's go ahead and select that. And we do want it to be tangent with this line. So select tangent. And then connect your endpoints. All right, next, go ahead and create a line coming across horizontally. You want it to be tangent as well. Select your endpoints, make them coincident. And then we'll go ahead and make it the same length as the top line. Go ahead and select equal length. Go ahead and create another arc. Highlight it, make sure it's in red. And then make an equal radius as the other ra radiuses. And you do want it to be a uh, tangent. And go ahead and select your endpoints and make them coincident. Alright, go ahead and create another line coming down. We want this line to be vertical. We want it the same length as the top one. Alright, and make a tangent to the arc. So highlight the arc in red. Highlight your line, make sure it's in red. Make a tangent. Select your endpoints. Alright, there it is. So now your sketch is fully constrained with all the dimensions given. Alright, so go ahead and finish. Click finish. Alright, now that we have our shape, we can go ahead and create a tube. And like I said before, you can't create a tube with a 90 degree sharp angles. You gotta have a radius. Otherwise, it won't work. So, okay. Next, you wanna come up in the menu. You wanna insert. And then under the sweep, you'll see tube. Go ahead and click that. And if you can't see, you can always search it here. In the search box, type in tube. And once you hover over it, it's actually going to show you where it's at. It's in the surface, under more. And you should see it there. And if you, if you click down on the arrow here, you can actually add it to your, uh, your bar, your top border bar, which is, I've already added here. Just to, uh, easy access. So, all right, we'll go ahead and do that again. You want to click tube. All right. So next, it says select curve. It already selected your nine curves, which is these here we just sketched. Next, under the cross section, it's asking you the outer diameter. Go ahead and type in fifteen. And then for the inner, go ahead and type in 13. And then you want to go ahead and click OK. Alright. Now we still see our uh, sketch lines. We'll go ahead and hide those. Alright, so in order to do that, you want to come up in the view. And then up here it says move to layer. Click that. Select your objects. 
go ahead and select your solid body and then you want to invert selection that way it's going to select everything else except for the body so it says we got 11 objects which is uh, the sketch lines and the datum coordinate system go ahead and click OK alright then move it to a different layer go ahead and type 5 click OK next you want to go to layer settings and then you want to uncheck layer 5 alright so now they're gone alright and if you like to change the color go ahead and press control J we got the class selection select the object click OK under the color go ahead and click on it and then select your preference click OK alright and there it is alright guys thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe until next time